In light of the economic crisis, for the first time the Vatican has given very specific recommendations in their document Vocation of the Business Leader. Those who helped to write it say the recent economic turmoil was the turning point that made them want to publish their reflections on the subject. People were lying, they were cheating, they were selling products which had a huge amount of risk in them, which other people didn't recognize. So these are basic ethical problems that were polluting the economic environment, if you like. And at the end of the day, they had their final result, a major crash. Helen Alford is a Dominican nun at Rome's Angelicum University. She is also one of the editors that helped to create this document from the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace. They made sure to note that business is often working toward the common good, but also it can lose sight of right and wrong. That's why they believe they may have something to offer the business community. The role of religion in the business sphere, which as is, is going to become more and more important in our intercultural, interreligious, globally connected world. The document offers six points of advice that range from helping the poor, being aware of your actions, and moral checkups for corporations. Sister Helen also noted there could be a Vatican document coming with prescriptions aimed at making governmental change toward financial regulation. People in government also need to change. We need to have a more realistic regulatory environment where regulations are uh, seriously um, thought about and then are properly applied. At the end of the document there is a checklist for the business person with questions such as, am I creating safe working conditions? Are employees fairly compensated? And am I creating wealth or engaging in rent-seeking behavior? The business school at the Angelicum University will be including this document as part of their curriculum next year, while Sister Helen hopes that many more universities, Catholic and non-Catholic, will be interested in including the document in their own teachings of business.